Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson in Theory of Structure. I am Engineer J and in this video, we will continue our discussion on trust analysis. So if you missed to watch the previous discussion on analysis of trust, I have posted the link in the description below. So um, in this video, we will uh, try to understand the different type of trusses and how to determine the determinacy, indeterminacy, or stability of trusses. So in other words, in this video, we will try to determine if a truss is determinate, indeterminate, or externally or internally unstable. Okay, but before that, let me give you some example of trusses that we applied in the construction. We have this one, the how truss. We have the prat truss. We also have the Warren truss. We have the K truss. So the members here um, creates a al alphabet K or a K pattern as what you can see. We also have a Parker truss, a Baltimore truss, a King Post truss, the simplest one. And we also have another example of how truss. Okay, this is triangular truss. We have also a Warren truss. And lastly, we have the Pratt truss and the Fink truss. As what you notice here, so we can um, recognize the type of truss by looking on the pattern of its member. Okay, the triangular pattern of its member. Okay, and now let me um, discuss to you on how to determine if our truss system is statically determinate statically indeterminate or unstable so we have uh, this formula to follow we have a b plus r is equal to 2j where b here that is the number of bars or the number of members r is the number of external supports reaction and j is the number of joint okay so if b plus r is equal to 2j then that means our truss is statically determinate if B plus R is greater than 2J, that means our truss is statically indeterminate. But if our truss is B plus R is lesser than 2J, that means that is unstable. But there would be an instance that um, a determinate and indeterminate structure can also be considered as unstable. Okay, in what case? Now, for external stability of truss, the same as with the beam and frame, if all the external reactions are concurrent or parallel, that means our truss is externally unstable, okay, or externally unstable. Like this one here, this is an example of reactions that are concurrent. So we have hinge and we have a ruler. As what you can see, they have a point of intersection which is at this point. So that means this one is unstable, though if we try to check it using the equation, we would come up with a determinate structure. And we also have this example here in which um, all the forces or external reactions are parallel. Okay, that means this is also a unstable. Or if you came up with a determinate or indeterminate structure, then you need to counter check using this condition. Okay? And for the internal stability of truss, now if our structure is considered as unstable, that means the number of members and the number of um, equilibrium equations are not enough or are insufficient in resisting loads. So that means our truss would collapse, okay, if we do not have enough members. We can know that a member is unstable if um, B plus R is lesser than 2J, okay? And however, again, it could be B plus R is greater or equal to 2J, but if all the reactions are concurrent or parallel, or if our members creates a collapsible section or collapsible member, okay? So this is how we check the stability, the determinacy and indeterminacy of our structure so let's try to solve this example here okay we are asked to determine whether the truss is determinate indeterminate and unstable so let's begin with our first figure here 
So we have to count the number of members or the number of bars. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have 17 members. Then let's count the number of reactions. Now we know that this one is hinged, so therefore we have two reactions. And for a ruler support, we have one reaction. So therefore we have three external reactions. Now for the number of joints, we have to count. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten joints. Now using the condition in which we have um, B plus R, then 2J. So we have B here, 17. R is 3. Then 2 times 10. We have 20 for the um, left side of the equation and 20 for the right side of the equation. So therefore, this is equal. So that means our um, structure is statically determinate. Now, for our second figure, let's count the number of bar. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, we have 16 members. The number of reactions, these are all hinges. So, we have 2 reactions for each support. So, therefore, we have 4. Then, the number of joint is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 joints. So we have um, 16 plus 4. Then on the right side of the equation is we have 2 times 10. So therefore we have 20 and 20. So therefore the right side and the left side has equal value. So therefore this one is statically determinate. And for our um, figure letter D, so this would be our last example. So we have this truss system here. So we count the number of bar. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, then 11, 12. Take note, this is not a joint. Okay, so therefore this is one whole bar. So we have 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we have 21 number of members. Then the number of reaction is, since this is a hinged, so we have uh, two reactions. So this is um, two. And for roller, we have one. So this means we have three external reactions. Then the number of joint is equal to, we have one, two, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 joints. So by using the formula B plus R 2J, so we have 21 plus 3, 2 times 10. This would give us 24, then 20. So therefore, this one is greater. And upon looking at the equation, so therefore, this is statically indeterminate. And the degree of indeterminacy is 24 minus 20 that gives us 4 degree. So we have 2, 4 degree or to the 4th degree. For stability, this is externally and internally stable. Why? It's because all the reactions are non-parallel and non-concurrent. So that means this is a stable structure and that ends my discussions on the stability and the indeterminacy and determinacy of trust system and in my next video I will um, try to solve problems regarding a different type of methods on solving or on analyzing truss structure so we have joint method and cut section method so guys i hope that you have understand these lessons 
please um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you guys and God bless.